my time at St Kilda playing against Collingwood, there was this real fierce rivalry that Saints and Collingwood, and I felt from day one. It was one of those hoodoo grounds where you know, we hadn't had much success. The so Saints hadn't won there for a long, long time. Just the intimidation of, of, of rocking up to Vic Park. When you come out straight away, bang, the Collingwood supporters are getting into you straight away as soon as you're walking under the cage. You get yelled at and abused and... You're actually, at times, frightened to walk outside to try and get to your car. At half time of the reserves that were playing before us, me and Nick obviously went out then and they were, they were giving it to me and Nick straight away. At half time of the uh, reserves game, and I'm talking like racism. It inspired me after what they said to me and Nick at half time to play a big game. And I remember saying to Nick out on the ground, I said to him, brother, you better get best on ground today, otherwise I'm going to get best on ground and not. We've got to do something today, we've just got to make a statement. There he is again, he is having an unbelievable game. Gilbert McAdam kick from Graham Wright. Wait, oh! Wait Winbar and McAdam have been excellent players. Pass. Players swoop in on it. Oh, here's Winbar from 60 metres. Nicky Winbar kicks. Oh, I think he's goal. The Saints are home. We beat them. We won on their turf in front of all their supporters, which was pretty powerful. There's certain things in footy that you absolutely love, but it's one of those memories that you sit there and you cherish, and you, know, you see what happens you know, after that and what a statement it, it made. Yeah, it was a moment you'll never forget. Every time I see Nicky, it's a big hug, a big bear hug, um, and, and there's no doubt that's, that's how he played his footy. He was just super emotional. When I got drafted from day one, the first thing I said to myself was, oh wow, I'm going to play with Tony Lockett and Nicky Winmar. He, he had just so much energy and charisma, um, but geez, he could play. Represented the Aboriginal community with pride, and that's uh, you know, what he brought to the football club.